Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Welcome to Street Smarts, the show where people try to prove how brainy they are by predicting how brainless other people can be. Now, I've cruised the country looking for average, everyday men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It'll be up to our players to gauge the brightness of their bulbs. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Dan. Yeah. And we have Audrey Magini right here. Yeah. It's do or die here on Street Smarts. The winner gets the jack, the loser gives it back. Now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I began my career, my journey in Scottsdale, Arizona, where I scared Oki with the size of my hog. Now, Oki, uh, my bike obviously is much nicer than yours. Uh, used to be. <laughs> now, what kind of bike do you have here? It's a 1985 FLHTC Classic, Harley Davidson. And how long have you had this one for since 85? Bought it brand new in 85. And how many miles do you have on this? Oh, there's only about 37,000. Did you cry at the end of Titanic? Yeah, I started to, but my old lady told me to leave, so we left. Okay. <laughs> All right, there's Cody. Next, I ask this Jedi Master what her name means. It means I come to enjoy. You come to enjoy? Yes. No, you're actually shopping for what right now? An after prom outfit. All right, now, what do you have so far? You have uh... leather pants, some nice leather pants. They no. fit real tight. No, why don't you just wear the leather pants? That's it. Oh, that would be cute, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Obi, what's the best advice your mom ever gave you? Don't have sex with anybody I don't know. <laughs> with anybody you don't know, so if it's someone you know. It's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Obi. And finally, I was able to finagle my way to Hawaii where I talked to Aaron. Aloha from Waikiki Beach, and I'm standing next to... Aaron. Aaron, what do you do here? I rent surfboards. I help them out with the canoe rides if they want a canoe ride. Now, you're originally from here? Originally from here. Born and raised here? Born and raised, of course. Aaron, do you have any hobbies? Surfing, swimming, sleeping. You know. Sleeping's a hobby? Sleeping's a big hobby, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Challenges to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice and a correct guess will earn you 100 bucks. Yeah. Okay, guys, put on your thinking caps. Here we go. The first question I asked to Obi, Oki, Obi, and Aaron was, where did the SS Minnow crash? Who knew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Oki, Obi, or Aaron? Flip your things up and go for it. Lock in. Let me know who you think. Okay, you're locked in. All right, you both think Oki, huh? Uh, Jeannie, you think Oki knows? Yeah, he looks like the kind of guy that would be laying on the couch back in the 60s watching TV. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Yeah, Oki, where did the SS Minnow crash? Uh, Bermuda Triangle, I guess. Bermuda Triangle? Yeah. A lot of ships disappear out there? A lot of stuff go by out there. Actually, the SS Minnow, that was the name of the ship on Gilligan's Island. Oh, that's right. That's right. A little fella, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like Gilligan would be on a, a bike like this, probably, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. That's a wrong answer, guys. I'm sorry. He did not know the answer to that one. Uh, the correct answer, like I said, is Gilligan's Island. All right, okay. Moving on to the next question. I asked all three of them, what is a footnote? Do you think Oki, Obi, or Aaron knew what a footnote is? Go ahead, guys. Let me know. Okay, and anytime, Dan. Okay, all right. Okay, you're locked in? Locked in. Okay, and Dan, you think Oki knows this one? I think Oki knows. Okay, let's see if he knows what a footnote is. <laughs> what is a footnote? Uh, guys down in Daytona, they had them on their shoes. When they walk around with girls that had short dresses on, they had a mirror there, and they look up under the dress. <laughs> and what do they see? All the good stuff. <laughs> Which would be? Good stuff. Okay. When you get older, you understand. <laughs> Aren't I old enough yet? No, sir. When you grow up and get a big bike, you get a little older, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Jeannie, you think Obi knows this one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she looks the least dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check it. What is a footnote? A footnote, that's the thing they put um, actually at the bottom of a page. That's a correct answer. There you go, Jeannie. You're on the board. 100 bucks. Yeah. Nice strategy. Okay, guys, last question in this round of Who Knew It? According to the slogan, what's the best part of waking up? <laughs> Who knew it? What do you think? Oki, Obi, or Aaron? Who knew this one? And Aaron? Okay, you ready? You guys are locked in? Okay, all right. Now, uh, Jeannie, you're going back to Obi. <laughs> I think she knows pop culture. She knows fashion. All right, let's take a look. Obi, according to the slogan, what is the best part of waking up? The best part of waking up? It's uh, in your life. Wait, wait. The best part of waking up 
It's a, uh, in your life. I don't know. It's um, uh, cola, Coca-Cola in your life. Coca-Cola? Yeah, it's Coca-Cola. Folgers in Folgers. your cup. Oh, okay, coffee. coffee. Jeannie, I'm sorry, she knew the tune, but not the right answer. Sorry, now Dan, you think Aaron knows this one, I huh? think he did. I think he needs a little Folgers in his cup to get out get there on the up. way. Right, exactly. <laughs> right, second, yeah. According to the slogan, what is the best part of waking up? Best part of waking up? Let's see. Best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. <laughs> but, um, but I know you don't like to wake up at all. You just like to sleep. Oh, yeah. I love to sleep, so I'd probably be sleeping. Hey, when he's not sleeping, he knows. You had uh, Aaron. Way to go, Dan. He got it right. 100 bucks for you. Nice job. Let's check the scores here. Uh, Dan, you got 100 bucks. There you go. You just got it. Jeannie also has $100. All right. We're moving on to round two. From who knew it to who blew it, when we return, people, we'll be right back. What is a comb over? A comb over? When you like comb your hair over to the other side? And who usually does that? You. Me? Oh, oh that's cold. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to meet our players. Now, Dan, Dan, uh, I hear your stomach has a roll of its own. Exactly. What do you do with your stomach? Well, Frank, did you say, let me see that stomach roll? Oh. Stomach roll. <laughs> stomach roll. <laughs> I swear to God, the stomach did not move. <laughs> All right, now, Jeannie, I hear you're pretty good at handing out tickets. Well, I just did a job on a hidden camera show where I had to wear a bikini and convince people I was a meter maid, and that was the new police uniform oh. at Venice Beach. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right, it's time to up the ante as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we have the same question, only two of our street subjects. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Dan or Jeannie correctly identifies who skunked the question, they get 200 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now on this round, you guys can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will stymie your opponent, buzz in and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely, guys, all right? Okay. Now here's the first question I asked both Oki and Obi. I asked them, what is a laxative? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Oki or Obi? Flip your things up, guys, and uh, get to it. Who blew this one, Oki or Obi? All right. And OK, you guys are locked in? OK, you're locked in. And uh, let's see. Uh, you think Oki, huh, Jeannie? I think everyone should know who the SS Minnow is. So right, that's true. If you didn't know that, that he might All not right, know that. strategy. Let's check it out. Oki, what is a laxative? Oh, man, that's something that uh, you're riding your Harley down the highway, you stop at a truck stop, you get a bite to eat, that's a laxative. <laughs> Why? Because what does it do? It loosens you up. And when you say loosens it up, it makes you... Go, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can a guy on a Honda, do I take a... Or what do I do? Probably a poo-poo for okay. you. Yeah. The correct answer. I'm sorry, Gene. He came through on that one for you. Now, Dan, looks like uh, Obi probably blew this one. Let's check it out. Obi, what is a laxative? A laxative. Those are um med that's medicine that you're supposed to take if you can't drink milk. If you can't drink milk, you take a laxative and what happens? And then it gives you calcium. <laughs> well a laxative actually it's uh when you're constipated. Oh, and your stomach hurts and you gotta go boo-boo? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go what? Boo-boo. Which means go take a dump. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Obi. <laughs> She blew that one, Dan. Nice job. 200 bucks for you. All Puts right. you into the lead. 300 okay. to 100. All right, you guys, here's the question I asked to Oki and to Aaron in Hawaii. According to Tammy Wynette's most famous song, what should women do? <laughs> oh, my God, Jeannie, you've been done. Stay on the cap up there. All right, Jeannie, if you cannot answer the question, Dan gets 200 bucks, but if you know it, the money's yours, and he'll sport the cap. You have five seconds. I'm going to read the question again. According to Tammy Wynette's most famous song, what should women do? Stand by your man. That's a Two, evens it up. All right, now guys, who do you think blew it? Of those two, do you think Oki or Aaron blew this one? All right, cap looks good on you, Dan. All right, okay, <laughs> there you go. You're both locked in, you think Aaron, huh? All right, Dan, you think Aaron's gonna blow this one? Definitely, man, he doesn't know who time Tammy Wynette is. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> According to Tammy Wynette's most famous song, what should women do? What should women do? Look for a rich guy. $200. Very nice. 
Nice. All right, guys. Last question in the round. We have a tie game. This is great. Uh, here's the question I asked to Obi and to Aaron. I asked them, what are bagpipes? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think Obi or Aaron blew this one? What are bagpipes? All right. And they're spinning. And okay, you're locked in. You both went with Obi. Hmm. Okay. And uh, let's see. So, Dan, you think Obi blew this one? I just don't think she's down with that whole Scottish thing. Really? <laughs> okay, let's check it out, see if we can get you guys each some money. What are bagpipes? Bagpipes? They're shoes. They're shoes? Yeah, shoes. Do you like, would you wear bagpipes? All the time, all the time. What do bagpipes look like? What kind of shoe? They're black, and then they have like big heels on them. They're real nice. I wear them all the time. <laughs> and my dresses and stuff. So. She blew it. You both had Obi. Another two and a half. The correct answer bagpipes. Scottish instrument, yeah. All right, everybody knew that one. All right, let's uh, check the scores here. Dan, you got 700 big ones. Nice job, buddy. Jeannie also has $700. Reds. We'll see who they choose to ride when we come back. Catherine, what's it mean if you're three sheets to the wind? You are good looking. Right. Everyone ever call you three sheets to the wind? No, nope, never. Oh, well, I think you're three sheets to the wind. Ah, oh, thank you. Welcome back. Mount your steed and grab the reins because it's time to. Pick your pony. This time, Dan and Jeannie will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks, yeah. And to keep you on your toes, we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round, only this time it's worth 300 bones. Now, remember, there's only one dunce cap, rema dunce cap remaining in the game, so use it wisely, guys. All right, now you guys are tied, so Dan, you won the preliminary tiebreaker backstage, so you get to go first. So Dan, who would you like to ride out the round with? I'm picking Oki, Frank. You're going with Oki? I'm riding right behind him on that bike, Jamie. Jumping on his hog with him, very nice. Jeannie, how about you? I took Aaron. You went with Aaron, little surfer boy, very nice. All right, Dan, the first question, Oki, see if you can jump into a lead here, this is a big round. I asked him, what is Peekaboo Street famous for? Oh my God. Jeannie, you've been dodged, dodged. Throw it up there, Dan. Jeannie, 300 bucks on the line. I'm gonna read the question again. You have five seconds. What is Peekaboo Street famous for? It is famous as a place where there are a lot of prostitutes. No. That's an incorrect answer. I'm sorry, Jeannie. Nice try. Dan, big 300 bucks for you. You take the lead. Nice job. All right, but now uh, the question is, do you think Oki got it right or wrong, Dan? I'm gonna say wrong. You got it wrong? All right, let's take a look. What is Peekaboo Street famous for? Uh, that's where all the KK guys goes in Oklahoma. Oh. Have a good time. And since they have those things over their head, they're kind of like, look at us, Peekaboo. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they laugh, sometimes they run. <laughs> that's a wrong answer. Way to go, Dan. Woo. Big question for you. You made 600 bucks off that. The correct answer, does anyone know Peekaboo Street? She's an Olympic skier, very good. I have a smart audience. That, right. Right. Jeannie knew that, yeah, right. okay. All right, Jeannie, here's your first question, Aaron, in the round. According to the old wives' tale, how do you get hairy palms? <laughs> you think Aaron got that right or wrong? Uh, he got this one right? He's gonna know? I before? think he has experience. Okay, let's take a look. Aaron, according to the old wives' tale, how do you get hairy palms? How do you get hairy palms? Well, you see, I see this in Cheech and Chong once. Um, Harry palms is from too much masturbation. Right. <laughs> How are your palms? Not too hairy. Okay. Why, did you shave this morning? <laughs> what? It's <laughs> a <laughs> so correct answer. Way to go, Jeannie. Nice to have you there. All right, you tip, uh, you're a little closer. You're only down by 300 bucks. This is good. All right, Dan, next question. Oki, finish this phrase. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a... Mm. All right, yeah, all right. Do you think he <laughs> could finish it? <laughs> I know you know it, Dan. Do you think Oki could finish it? Hmm. You know, I think he could. Right. I think he could because uh, he's probably made a lot of promises to right. in his life. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Oki, finish this phrase. Cross my heart and hope to die, stick a... Harley Davidson between my thighs. <laughs> Which is happening right now for you. You betcha. And for me, maybe someday. Yeah, next week. <laughs> it rhymes, but it's not the right answer, Dad. I'm sorry. The correct answer is stick a needle. <laughs> Good. All right, Jeannie, next question to Aaron. Finish this phrase. <laughs> Sex, drugs, and... Uh, right. You think he got this right or wrong? What do you think, Jeannie? Even though he's way out there in Hawaii, right. I think he's an American boy. All right, very good. Let's take a look. Finish this phrase. Sex, drugs, and... 
Sex, drugs, and pleasure. And pleasure. Because sex and drugs bring you... Wait, I got that one. Sex, drugs, and videotape. Sex, drugs, and videotape. Yeah. It was that movie? Yeah, it was a movie. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sex, drugs, rock and roll! All right, okay, the crowd's in a... All right, here we go, Dan. Last question in the round for you, Taoki. What's a preemie? Do you think you got that right or wrong? What's a preemie? I'm gonna say he's probably made a few preemies, but he doesn't know what they are or oh, where oh, they are. Just go to the club. What's a preemie? Oh, preemies. That's guys like you ride them little bikes. They call them prima donna preemies. Sir Dan, way to go. Right. I'm just not happy about that. It's a premature baby. Hard to get a sing along with that one. All right, here it goes. All right, last question around Genie uh, to Aaron. Here's the question Who are the Foo Fighters? Do you think he got that right or wrong? I'm gonna say right. He's a young man oh, and they have radios. They have radios in Hawaii. I believe they're solar powered. Let's check it out. Aaron, who are the Foo Fighters? The Foo Fighters, they're my favorite band. They're one of my favorite bands. I love them too. I like that song, you know. I, especially, I like that movie scene where they're all, they're all feeding out the acid or whatever, the LSD, and everybody's tripping except for them. <laughs> That's the right answer. Why did he He knew they were a band. Dave Grohl and the boys. Nice job. You made a nice little comeback here because uh, we got a close game. Dan, $1,600. Oh! Dan and Jeannie will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Oki, Obi, and Aaron. They'll each choose one of the three people in the field, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. If you're sleeping with a Lhasa Apso, what have you got on your bed? So stay tuned because one of our players will be pushing up daisies in our final round. The Wager of Death. Find out when we return. It's time for last rites as we enter our final round, the wager of death. Dan and Jeannie, here's the real deal. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Speaking of totals, two nice totals. Dan, $1,600 going into the final round. Right. Jeannie, a solid $1,300. Folks, very exciting. Now remember, only one of you will be walking away with the cash, which means everything is riding on the final question. Here it is again. I asked this to Oki, Obi, and Aaron. If you're sleeping with Alasa Apso, what have you got in your bed? Okay, now Jeannie, we're gonna go with you first. Whose clip do you wanna try to win the game with here? Oki. You're gonna go with Oki, flip it over. You like Oki, all right. He's a key guy for you. Now Dan, how about you? I picked Aaron. All right, you're putting your, your eggs in Aaron's basket. All right, that means we have to wave bye to Obi. Bye, Obi. Have a good prom. All right, Jeannie, let's take a look at Oki's clip. This is big. If you're sleeping with Alasa Apso, what have you got in your bed? One hairy, ugly looking thing, I guess. <laughs> and, when you, <laughs> and when you say hairy, ugly thing, you mean? Uh, probably your cousin, I'm Maybe. not sure. <laughs> Oh my cousin. All right, Jeannie, that was a wrong answer. Now you have Oki. Do you think he got it right or wrong? I said. You wrong. said he'd get it wrong. Very nice, Jeannie. How much did you get out of that $1,300? What kind of strategy did she use? Thousand bucks. She's got $2,300. You're in the lead right now. Dan, don't worry. You're still in this game big time. You're, you're in control here of your destiny. We're going to show you Aaron's clip. This is who you wanted to see. Let's take a look. If you're sleeping with Alasa Apso, what have you got in your bed? You ain't got a happy lover. Right, you have like a bitch. <laughs> Basically a okay. bitch, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a wrong answer, Dan. He got that wrong. You chose Aaron. This is big. Did you think he'd get it wrong? I did. You did. You said he'd get it wrong. Now, Dan, did you wager over $700 to win this game? This is the big ending. Let's see it. As a matter of fact, I wagered $1,500. $1,500! Oh, 